You see, coming back to and recording videos for YouTube and talking about the things that I want to do, like I've already recorded a couple of videos that I want to talk about that are like positive as opposed to the steaming pile of absolute dog shit that I will be talking about today, which is again, is fucking boogie to 988. Uh, the reason why I'm talking about this again is because something happened yesterday on a stream on the LOL Cow Life stream. And I, f I, like, I was really debating whether to record again and talk about uh, a boogie or, or not. And the reason why I decided to record again and talk about this, it's because I think it... Uh, as as painful as it is to talk about this human garbage, like, the more attention you bring it, the more people will be aware of the type of persona he is. Now, here's the thing, and, 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 I, and I want to be very clear. I am no saint in any way, shape, or form. I know I've done my, 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 my stupid, sh my, my, my share of stupidity, uh, in in my lifetime, so I'm not one to cast the first stone. I'm not one to say, "Oh, my holier than thou personality will know better," because you know I should be at this point canonized as a saint for the Catholic Church. That's not. That's really not it. But this person right here, this person right here he would present himself as such. If you were, like, from the get-go honest, and you're like, yeah, you know, like, I mean, I'm I'm not, like, the the best person on earth, but, uh, you know, I, I do have my, my, my little shadows, my skeletons in the closet, and I'm just, like, a human, right? We, more things could be, in a way, not necessarily forgiven, but understandable. The lying, the manipulation and everything, you expect that from a human being, a normal human being that is just generally a piece of shit. But when you have faked a personality about being like this goody-goody two-shoes, this like, oh... Yes, life didn't give me the the best the best hand, but I'm 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 making it through, and and we're with the power of friendship, we're going to do this. Well, when you have that, when when you when you become that persona, and then the true colors come out, well, yeah, it's going to be more shocking. It's going to be uh, more infuriating for for some at least. It, it, for me, I I used to see Boogie as a as a role model, as not necessarily like oh I want to follow in your steps and get fat as fuck, but more of a you know what if he can do it like if he has that that endeavor that personality to say you know what life is not fair but fuck it, eh, maybe I can too you know he was one of those people for me and then to see the like <laughs> to see Mister Hyde actually come out and Dr. Jekyll just die, um, it, 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 it kind of pains me. And I've seen so many people give money to this asshole that it's just like, the one thing that I have that he doesn't, which is my morals, doesn't allow me to just stay silent. So that's why I wanted to talk about this right now so i'm not going to i'm not going to play the audio or the images just because um i believe that if you want to like get the full experience go to the lol cow live um and watch the stream i'm going to summarize it and i'm going to give you my opinions on it so just just know like i watch the entirety of this thing and we begin this with um with our host trying to get boogie on this stream even though boogie uh, uh, allegedly agreed to be on the stream 
uh, like the coward he is, he was like, you know what? I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna take the heat. I'm just not going to be there. And 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 it it only goes downhill from there because throughout the stream, once he actually gets on, we w he gets confronted again, but now not in a harsher way like he was on the other stream, but this is more of a hey just 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 come out clean just just you know they were they were definitely trying a more uh gentle approach to this and if there is one thing that boogie is a master at you know they say that you need to do one thing like a ten thousand times in order to become a master at it he's become a master of the martyr syndrome he is such a victim if there is one thing that I've noticed throughout, like seeing all of all of these videos, all of all of his scams, the lies, the manipulation, everything, is that he is just always the victim. He's always the martyr. He's always just like, oh, poor me. Please help me because I have cancer. Please help me because I am fat. I'm doing this because I'm dumb. I'm doing this because this. Because there's always a reason. The reason is never, it's my fault. The reason is always something external. It's never internal. And by the looks of it, there's a lot inside of him, you know? So anyways, um, as, the, as the stream progresses, Mudahar comes, comes in. I believe that's his name, Mudahar. And he becomes the kind of the, the voice of reason throughout the, throughout the stream because he he focuses on actually calling him out for for what he's doing uh and and in <laughs> at some point they actually bring uh a allegedly a doctor i think right here there there's a doctor that starts asking for like more specific information that obviously he can't provide because he doesn't have it it, it like it just doesn't happen uh, he gets on the phone with his brother and the brother is like, you can tell that he's nervous. Like he, he wants to like help his brother out. But in terms of like specifics, he's like dodgy about it. The girlfriend comes on at some point. Uh, you can tell she's very uncomfortable on camera. So she's not like really, you know, given like like comfortable answers because clearly she's freaking out she's like in front of a lot of people right now and she she says hey i have anxiety doing doing this type of stuff so yes now but here's the thing throughout this entire to throughout this entire stream it gets revealed by boogie that the thing that he claimed just one stream ago, which was, hey, I'm looking at my medical records on my phone right now. I am seeing my phone right now with my medical records, and it does in fact says my uh, polycythemia vera, and, and I can read it right here, and, and I'm, I'm going to read you the thing, and reads the thing because he has the diagnosis on his medical portal, and he 100% says that, yes, he's looking at it and reading it to the audience. Well, it gets revealed that apparently a cancer diagnosis never made it into his medical portal. Could you believe that? <laughs> apparently, like, can you, can you imagine you go to the doctor, which also during the stream, it also gets revealed uh, by apparently a local uh, to where he lives that they hospital that he goes to to treat his cancer doesn't treat cancer <laughs> that he should be going to a different one if he wanted to treat cancer but of course boogie has an excuse for everything so he kind of deflects it and um but uh, but apparently like no he 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 got diagnosed with cancer but it never made it to its portal. So imagine, like, what type of disease do you need to have in order for it to show on your medical portal? <laughs> like, 
<laughs> oh, it's just cancer. Like we we can admit that. You don't you don't need to know that. Like, yeah, that's 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 come and goes. You know, another Tuesday. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I I honestly I I was shocked to see that, and also I for the first time in my life I think I connected to the real Boogie, not 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 Boogie like the the real the man behind the camera, uh the man behind the 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 facade of a nice guy, for for the first time in my life I think I connected with him because. Uh, throughout this stream, obviously, he uses a lot of deflecting, a lot of manipulation. He even, like, starts bawling. Like, he, he even cries and he's like, oh, because he, he, he feels the heat that he might be fired from the stream if he doesn't turn, like, the medical records. So, I, I realized that that was exactly me when I was six. I used to have, like, excuses for everything and I would throw away tantrum to try to get my way and I would stand firm instead of recognizing my fault instead of recognizing that yes in fact I fucked up because I was the stupid little kid I would just like throw a tantrum just be like no I'm gonna stick to my story and obviously that never worked but I, I was seeing my six-year-old lion tactics being used by by Boogie and that was that was pathetic but Long story short, after trying to use a lot of deflection, a lot of pity, a lot of everything, uh, a very critical part, and this is the the one that I really wanted to touch on, happened at the stream, which is realizing that Boogie, aside from being a narcissistic manipulator, a liar, a piece of shit human being, that will try to mold everything to his will without a second thought one that would sell his audience a fucking scam just to get five grand easily this 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 barely humanoid came to came, came to this like came to a halt because the stream and his friends, for the most part of the panel, called him out on something. They asked him if he was being aware that this could be the end of the pod the podcast for them because of what he's doing. Why? Number one reason: because there's not going to be uh, a sponsor to the to the show anymore. Most likely, because. Every sponsor that would like to be part of this show would realize that, hey, this is the guy that faked cancer, right? Uh, why do we want to, like, sponsor them? Actually, let's let's pull out. And then a lot of people are going to be mad also because they are enabling the lies and enabling the scams from a horrible human being. So... The main host, the guy in the middle, I honestly don't remember his name. I am brand new to this to this lore. I came in into <laughs> to season six and I missed season one through five. But um but the main host kind of put him on the spot, saying saying things in the nature of like you realize that me not firing you right now is the worst thing I can do for the show because we're not going to have any sponsors after this and there's going to be a lot of people very very mad because you say you care about your audience and don't you think that you owe it to them and to us to at least rectify some of this and at that point it's like look you can do whatever you want on your own terms, on your own turf, because you're a selfish, egocentric piece of shit. Go for it. Go and shit where you eat and where you sleep. It doesn't matter. But once you start doing that to your friends, to other people, that's when it's like, dude, we're getting into different territories right now. Like, yes, if you're going to be a horrible human being, be so 
within the confinements of your own space. Don't stain others. So he is now a liability for the podcast, for this show, and which he begs not to be fired from. And they make a poll asking if he should be fired. The poll, I mean, spoiler alert. It's like fire him to not fire him, not fire him, like 2%, fire him like 98, 97%. So clearly the people are mad. The people are very, very, very mad with him because so many of us have experienced what it is to lose someone to cancer. And this idiot comes around like throwing throwing up pity party for two years asking for money and being a martyr to everyone faking it number one that's that's abhorrent that's that's just horrible and then to see him being still selfish enough to not care about his friends that are giving him pretty much the only income he has at this point it was it was something else man it was something else i honestly couldn't couldn't believe what was what was happening so at the end of the stream the decision is is made that he's going to remain in the podcast he's he's still going to be part of the show and he's going to be with with them and everything and the the main host the guy in the middle says that it's because he 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 wishes he could see evil in him but he doesn't see evil he just sees stupidity like he 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 thinks boogie is just like this like this this guy that is just you know it's just dumb it, but he's not evil he's just dumb which at that point i completely disagree because my guy is pushing into like his 50s or something so he clearly knows what is good and what is wrong and one thing is to be just a liar for your audience and everything but to put others into very precarious situations that is a, that is a different level that is a completely different level so anyways the last thing i want to touch on that happened on this stream was the fact that boogie doesn't have cancer he doesn't have the polycythemia vera and you can you can see it like he he starts crumbling towards the end and starts revealing that he he might not have it what what he might have though like okay okay so the, the this lie about polycythemia vera it, it's it's out of the window because that's crumbling but uh hold on guys hold on i have something else oh uh, uh, colon cancer i i i may have colon cancer so that was just at, at that point i was like dude are you fucking kidding me? Are, are, are you for real? Look, I try to be as positive as, as I can with a lot of things. I really try. I really try to be as positive to just like, not necessarily see the best in people because I, I would lie if I, if, if I said that I try my best to see the best in people because most people are shitty, you know? But, um, but I do try to stay positive and try to be unbiased and I try to be just like okay let's try to see it from different angles but when he started talking about that he might also have not just polycythemia vera which is like the bloodish cancer as he calls it the animal crossing of cancer but that he might have like also as cancer you can see that like dude just just stop just stop talking just fucking stop if you want to do yourself a favor just get out of the internet just get off get a job and that's it like live a normal life 
and try to forget that this ever happened because you had a chance and you blew it because you're a narcissistic piece of shit and you couldn't help yourself but to lie, a scam and wiggle your way into a pedestal that you created for your own ego. That's it. I got to see a stream where his friends suffered. I got to see a stream where the people were mad, where the audience was livid, where one person that clearly, clearly doesn't like him, it still has enough respect for the audience to call him out. I saw a stream of a narcissistic asshole that plays victim for a living. He's a scammer and a liar. And, hey, I mean, I guess the good news is that he's going to beat cancer twice, right? He beat polycythemia vera that he got treated for for two years, even though uh, he wasn't diagnosed with it. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's that's that that sounds about that sounds about the medical system, right? That sounds about something a legit hospital will would do. Uh, let me diagnose you with something. Um, let let me let me treat you for for a disease that I have not diagnosed you for. Sounds about right. And um, and second, well. Uh, I guess now we know um, we've got a little bit of a hint of the next of the next arc in this manga chapter, which is going to be as cancer, because um, now that he's beaten polycythemia vera, because everyone just like drilled him on it. Um, now the next lie is going to be as cancer. Or colon cancer, whatever it is. I believe in second chances quite a bit. I do. I've had plenty of second chances in my life. I've messed up with friends, with uh, with girlfriends, with family, with my mom. Like I've I've messed up a lot in my life. I've made a lot of mistakes. And some people have given me second chances, and sometimes they've they 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 don't, <laughs> and it it's okay. And I learn from them, you know. And I and I I'm not saying that I became like this saint, but at least I'm not as shitty as this piece of shit, you know. And it's frustrating to say that sometimes because of people like him. I truly believe that there shouldn't there shouldn't be sometimes people that, that that sometimes people don't deserve a second chance. Well, this bitch has gotten like 25 chances on this particular stream alone. So it's like, well, you know, but after receiving so many chances of redemption and not taking it well, you know why. You know why. Because there is nothing to redeem. That guy, even though he's incredibly, incredibly round and big, inside, there's nothing. He's just empty. <laughs>